the Beer Olympics. <laughs> so Shane Gillis is under attack right now. No one will say anything because Shane wants to keep his connections. This guy is like a big guy at Barstool. Is does he work for Barstool too, yes, Taylor? A podcast. Okay, let's show a picture. Um, here it comes Taylor Luan. Do people know him? This is big. He's just look at this. That's a football player, seventy-seven. What is this? The uh, Miami Marketplace. What team is he on? Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans. There he is, Taylor Lewan. People know him. Did people say they know who this is? Did you see anyone I feel say like that? His podcast is popular, and he's a real alpha male. He is a true alpha male, and you're going to see some of his activities that we caught. We couldn't believe it. Um, in a video that uh, we're very excited to bring to you called The Beer Olympics. You might have heard of the Beer Olympics. It's a bar stool event uh, that's a video where all these guys from different walks of the internet get together and compete in beer games. Uh, Dave Portney signed off on this. I wonder if he's seen this. I wonder if he knows how bad this is. I, you know, Dave just Dave just bought back Barstool for one dollar, and um, a lot of people are very excited about that. But the real story is this pen. I, I mean, they saw what I saw with Barstool. I mean, this is pretty much the stupidest group of people. I can't believe they have an office that hasn't burned to the ground yet. I mean, they really are the stupidest, most biggest morons. Now, I'm a huge Dave Portney fan. Huge. Huge. I've probably seen every piece of content he's put out in the last four years. Unless it's about sports. Unless it's about sports. But he barely does sports because he's he gets it. <laughs> and Dave is very, very, very dumb in a lot of ways. <laughs> he might only be smart in one way. And dumb in a million. And... That's, you know, what I like about him the most is how stupid he is. And this pen saw how stupid Barstool is. It's, it's really the stupidest. Go watch any of their content. I mean, it's really the dumbest, it's shittiest, <laughs> horribly produced content. You, you, it's crazy. It, it, it's so crazy that it's gone to the comical level of I can't believe this is happening. So they have a show called the Beer Olympics. And guess who was on it? Bert Kreischer and Shane Gillis is a team competing against alpha males all around the internet who also think they're the best at drinking. Have you seen Bert lately? Do we have a photo of Bert? I was there's a couple of sightings of both Bert, like Uncle Laser. I thought we could peruse yeah. the Beer Olympics and Way kind of take a see. peek at these guys. So we'll show you some stuff we found in the Beer Olympics. Bert Kreischer was there. He was not having it that day. Shane Gillis was there. And Shane, wake up! <laughs> this is something you should write me a secret DM and thank me for what I'm about to show people and how I'm going to stick up for you here today. And you should also tell the world that, no, Matt McCluster, or whatever his name is, <laughs> is not good. You can't... One million views on Matt McCusker's new comedy People special. Love him. Guys, you haven't been this wrong in a long time. <laughs> Matt McCusker, I might start really doing some stuff to him. <laughs> you know what the problem is? He's so nice. He seems like a nice guy. And I want to say that Matt McCusker, you have nothing to fear of me. Uh, Trust me, we've tried. There's nothing to fear, but I cannot. You know, you need to give all the money you make off comedy to a charity. Okay? That's the right thing to do. Because you do not deserve that money. You deserve a little bit of money. Because you're an average fucking man. You deserve a good life. But you do not deserve one million views. Ever. Okay? Let me show you this Beer Olympics. You're going to love what so we what should we this is, do this in? Yeah, let's start with the Beer Olympics. Okay. And you could pause and go back to that. Beer Olympics is second link. Second link. And I'll just start it from the beginning to show you how it goes. And zoom in's galore. You're going to see Shane without a shirt. 
you're going to see Bert, and his body is not what we're going to be zooming into today for Bert. It's going to be the head. Wait till you see Bert's new fucking head shape. And Shane Gillis, we get to see his full undressed top. Um, Horrend- I mean, just disgusting. No excuse. You can't be telling it like it is, man, man, with that kind of body. Sorry. Never. And wait till you see this. Show. Here. It's the Bear Olympics. Bar Stewart. Get set. Go. go. exciting stuff. Yes. Good Lord, we might be in over our head here. We are. We're Wait, did so you see that? Uncle La- did you see that? Uncle Laser is there too. All the douchiest fucking guys out there who are like, oh! I mean, really, uh, it's funny. You almost think this type of guy is gone. Here's the weird thing about these guys. They're all partying like, uh, like 18-year-olds, right? Like 18-year-olds at college. But they're all like 50. They're all like 50 years old. They've got their shirts off. They're hugging each other. They're like your typical frat boy party. And I'm watching this beer Olympics and there's no girls there. It's just all these like. I, that girl in frame right now is the only girl. There's a girl in frame? Where? The, she's about to do a hug. Oh, okay. There's no girl. It's all guys with their shirts off, wearing cowboy hats and bandanas around their necks and wearing the gayest outfits possible, all broing out and, uh, you know, Hawaiian shirts open, vests, cowboy hats. Like, each group of friends is supposed to have maybe one of these guys in their group. Today, they're all together for a conference. (laughs) And you go... Why would any Barstool fan who is mostly guys want to watch this? It's like very homo. All it is is these guys yelling, spoiler alert, yelling and touching each other and grabbing each other. Something I hate. I have never been uh, one to allow other men to manhandle and grab me. I break up the friendship immediately with a guy like that. And... You know, so I have it now. There's no, I, it's been 20 years since something like this has happened to me. I don't know who this appeals to. I never understood guys that want to do MMA together, guys that want to wrestle together. To me, uh, uh, you know, if you're not queer, that should be the grossest, most horrific thing you could imagine going through is to be covered in another man's sweat while he weighs you down. I almost want to see what would happen if some guy just came over and started jostling you in chest. <laughs> I would, like, I would never either seen you make contact with someone in that way the whole time that I've known you. I would go like this. I go, get off me. And by the way, if you ever come up to me and I do pull my gun, I hold it like this. And that's not a joke. I go, why don't we? And I... Shoot, I show you where I want you to go with the gun. I go, why don't we go over here and relax? Because this isn't going to end it your way. And then wait. Now I'm ready. Uh, yeah, get down over there. Buckle up. Uh, that's how it would end. Really, I'm that strict about this screaming and yelling. Of that these guys do and the way that they dress and the call it really at this age, especially, you know, this sh- should be out of your system at 17. But here's Shane Gillis and yo, interesting enough, Burt Kreischer. Too old for this shit, I think. That's You're going to see Burt thought he liked this environment. You're going to see Burt here kind of backing away. Not really wanting to be about He's like, oh, this is barbaric. Watch. That's exciting stuff. Look at that. We might be in over our head here. I mean, if you scream and do this in another guy's face, you should be shot dead (laughs) with a little fucking bullet. I don't know why everyone's got to get the biggest bullets possible. Isn't it more fun to shoot someone with a little bullet? All right, here's this guy. He doesn't, he's not man enough to be there either. Wait till you see Uncle Laser. Uncle Laser gets really alpha he gets fucking cocked. So after this segment, make sure to go over to Uncle Laser's Instagram and go, man, I saw you get cocked so hard on Red Bar. Beta. Like Ethan says, beta. 
Okay. Watch this. Here we are. We're going to get so filthy. Uncle Laser. Beer Olympics. Bussin' with the boys. Oh, my God. Well, that's the one girl that's there. Get through the chug, the chug round without puking, and I think we'll be dialed in. So a lot of these guys are dressed very similar to me. Let's not uh, worry about that. It's about the mind and the personality. (laughs) Not the look. But here's this Taylor Luan. You see this guy? So my theory is, and hey, there's something wrong with it. I think he's sweet. I think, wait, I'm renaming this segment. Here's a segment called, We Found a Football Player That's Gay, That's Hiding It. And he's in love with Shane Gillis. Yep. I found a guy that's not out as gay. He's pretended to be straight. And I also know, and Shane knows, and this is why Shane's going to be so happy that I'm doing this. This guy is obsessed with Shane and wants to... Be in love with him. I'm not kidding. You have to believe. I mean, you have no choice but to believe me. I wouldn't have said all that if it was a joke. <laughs> so you should be sitting him going, holy shit, Mike's going to bust up. This is NFL. This is big comedy. This is NFL. And I'm the only one with the scoop. And the only people who know it are me, Shane, and him. And I'm about to out him. Because you can do that if the guy's a football player, okay? You can't out a little fucking Chinese kid girl, okay? That's cruel. She's going to kill herself. He's not going to kill himself over that. Well, maybe he will. Maybe he'll throw a football so hard into his own skull. Okay, that's what I... But, oh my God, there's Uncle Laser looking like Logan Small. Maybe he'll laugh it off and be like, ha ha, whatever, I'm gay, I'm friends with Jeffree Star. But this is more for Shane. So we can. This is for Shane because this guy has been all over Shane. We've got the proof. (laughs) This guy has been like stalking Shane because he's like in love with him. So it's like, imagine what you would do if you're like 16 and in love with a girl in your friend group in high school. Like how you would act. That's how this guy's acting, but with a badass twist, <laughs> with a sports twist. Wait till you see this. There, look at this guy. And look, look you at were Uncle. Just La- making fun of the guy's outfits, but Uncle Laser tried to wear this goofy comedy yep. outfit that he's not confident Hell. enough to wear. No. So the best. Here's Uncle Laser. Uncle Laser came. All the guys are like six. They're all football players. Burt Kreischer. Shane Gillis is like the shortest one. He's like six five. Uncle Laser is like five six. He comes in, and he's like, what's up, bro? Oh, and then quickly gets pushed to the side. Like, none of the big football players will fuck with him. They beta him, and he's nervous. I mean, this is the reason you're on our show, Uncle Laser. You're not the man you say you are. You're a nervous, insecure, whiny little bitch. Bill Maher. Bill Maher, not me. Anything I do that's cringe is an imitation of someone else. It's a parody of another guy. Uh, You can see it in his eyes in this blurry shot shot from 100 miles away. This is not a man. Like, if you walk up to the party like this, you're scared of all the guys there. And it's like you have social anxiety about the guys because all the guys are taller, bigger, cooler. And you've always wanted to hang out with these types of guys. But I saw the old picture of you, Uncle Laser. You were a straight up nerd. And now you think you're this if cool you guy. If you want to hang out with the guys at Beer Olympics, just wear a normal outfit, dude. You don't have to put yourself Look, through this. It's like if he William wore, Montgomery was wearing yes. this, it would make perfect sense. And you'd be like, ha, ha, ha. Well, well let me explain what he's wearing. to pull it off. He's wearing a 316 mesh jersey, no shirt underneath, tucked in to short denim black shorts with a belt buckle, showing way too much thigh for a guy. Into women's cowboy boots, no socks. And he's walking around like a gay male stripper, a fruitcake. And he, what would you call this, where you show up to a party too gay? You ever done this? I've really gone in on this gay, all gay, 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 (laughs) gay all day. Well, it's a big problem. Uh, 
This is funny. It's like when Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls went to the costume party and wore like a literal like kid's costume of like a scary, bloody corpse. Remember that? Mean Girls? <laughs> yes, yes. But everyone's wearing slutty, cool costumes. This is what it is. It's like everyone was told, yeah, you know, dress wacky, dress cool. And he dressed like this, but he's like way more sweet than 90% of the other guys there. And they weren't having it. You'll see throughout this expose. Hot box wine, bare limpets. Shout out Stanley Woodward. Black, black cut off jeans in the middle of summer. Oh, so you wait. This is even better. Taylor Luan, our subject today. This guy, who you'll all get to know very shortly, you're also kind of targeting Uncle Laser as your lesser. And you're bullying Uncle Laser because you've sniffed out that he's the only one there as deceptive as yourself. So you're going to put all the attention on Uncle Laser as being the fool so that, oh, it couldn't be you. Watch this. Look how he doesn't know Uncle Laser. This is so weird how this is all happening. You know, we usually don't cover beer Olympics. They're short cut off well, jeans. Yeah. Fucking black, black cut off jeans. He's making fun of laser shorts. There's no question about it. He looks like a, Look. a spinoff of Golden Girls. Like, he just looks like shit. So, I, and then Neil Look at Uncle Little looking around the party nervously. No one would talk to him the whole time. Like, he'd be standing up to groups of guys going, Man, what are we talking about, guy? Uh, nothing. Guys, let's walk over here. <laughs> Oh, man. And this is him in the background of the whole video. Poor laser. Yeah, poor laser, actually. The nerd at a party. Uh, not my cup of tea. You get out of that party if you feel you're less than, okay? You don't go. You don't show up and beg. To his teeth, I know we both got fake teeth, but my man looked like he went to Costco. He got those things got done for... You know, a big time discount. He must have paid something extra. He's roasting the guys so walking in. Overall, those boys, they look like it is. So, a- yeah, if you're as confused, guys, there's no real format to this show. This is what we were saying about Barstool. Barstool does not really like story things out or, or, or you know, it's kind of like the movie Memento. It's all out of order. It's all out of order. You see what you're seeing and make sense of it yourself. Yeah. So, we'll explain it to you. You don't have to go, <laughs> what am I watching? Because we don't, yeah, it's just a bunch of clips thrown together that's a video for them. Aspian, and we're the two gentlemen to give it to them. Look at these fucking. Look at Uncle Laser. Austin. Stone Cold. Confidence? Uh, oh. They underestimated. That's, that's the confidence level. They underestimated us. Confidently, I feel great. They underestimated us. Spit out the ice. Talk normal, scaredo. Look at these eyes. You're fi- this is the eyes of a 5'6 tough guy. That's the same face that Adam-22 made when that guy pulled a gun on him in his own studio. Well, even Adam-22 pulls <laughs> pulled that off way better than this. This is way worse. Um, you know, you think that all these tattoos and this little gimmick you're putting on makes us think that you ain't sweet. Pear, miss. And your jokes are so... Guys, has anyone heard this? Uncle Laser's style of comedy is so... Okay, here it is. How about you? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Now that I got Uncle Laser on my team, I got a lot of confidence. Yeah. You don't do chew. He doesn't even do chew. He just spits in a cup while he walks around. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the chew. Oh. Why are you telling everyone that you're doing chew? Well, you know what? We're not going to get in here. He backs into the bush. This guy's a phony, and I really don't like, I don't like joke sunglasses. Like, I'm really big into sunglasses. I really, I have like 17 pairs of unique sunglasses. I switch them up every day, and I am not a fan of jerk joke sunglasses. You know, I take this real seriously, so seriously that... I've made a lot of mistakes. I mean, I bought a lot of pairs. I just bought the Full Send glasses <laughs> from FullSendShop.com. They were like 60 bucks, and they're... Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They were just glasses so like shitty. this that they got off Wish. But I buy all the sunglasses. And when you put on a pair of cheap glasses, take them off. Have some respect. Uh... There is a level of sunglasses. If you can't afford that yet, then you squint. <laughs> then you use your eyelids. 
until you could save up. And it's not much. 430. 430 is my entry point. Okay. I don't like cheap sunglasses. Sunglasses are a must. Um, this day and age, you know, where I grew up, actually, people didn't really wear sunglasses that much. You didn't need to in Chicago. Neither. Out here on the West, you need them. So it must be important. You can't walk around with jerk joke glasses like Tim Dillon. I would love to be Tim Dillon's stylist, and I offer that. That's still on the table. I could be his stylist for a video that we do. Would you guys like to see that? Because we're working on something like that coming up. Oh, Three yep, basic matters. Let's fucking go. I'm parsed. Have the fucking rookie? Yeah. I mean, more like the most established. Ooh, a guy like this? I don't trust a guy like this. This also, many things going on. Or he could be really nice. It's either that or he's really nice. Reminds me of Zach Bryan type of shadester. Zach Bryan. Oh, did you see Zach Bryan on Joe Rogan? Oh, apologize. Pre-apologize. For he is so scared of offending a group. Oh, boy. Well, he should be scared because in front of Joe, he said that liquid IV made him puke. Yeah, he should be scared because that's one of Joe's uh, loyal sponsors that we don't talk bad upon. Here, skip it to 455. Okay, 455. Just for a celeb sighting, nothing special. Let's see who we got here. What's up, buddy? How are you? <laughs> oh, Bert Kreischer, Bert Kreischer. And. I get a kick. Oh, and <gasps> Jelly Roll! Wait, look at this. Yeah, oh, and Chain. The real Chain. The real drink. Oh, oh, Jelly Roll. <laughs> Wait, Bert Kreischer, Shane. Look at this radio. Oh, yeah, you should show how Bert looks. Yeah, here, I oh, yeah, I'm going to show that. Let me back up here. Because we want to show them the Shane and Bert parts here. I can't believe Jelly Roll is here. I don't call him Jelly Roll. I call him Jelly Roll. Uh, which I think he should change the name, really, if he wants to be taken seriously. And Jolly Roll likes Red... I mean, he said it. He said he likes Redmar. I can't believe that I'm part of modern music. Can we get Oliver Anthony music to say that he likes Redmar? See, that's... <laughs> you can't get to Oliver Anthony. That's the thing. See, Jelly Roll's... It's part of the main circuit. This Oliver Anthony is a piece of shit. Okay, here it is. Uh, we got Shane Gillis, Burt Kreischer. Do you get excited, guys, when you see Burt Kreischer like I do? A lot of people have been picking on his people get health. mad when they see him. Yes, I'm here to tell you. So here's the thing. Here, we'll pause him. On that part. Well, but also with a, lo- a low amount of confidence. Come on. Predictions, I think me and Burt win. We're Shane. our top three in the chugging at the beginning. And then I don't think we stand a fucking chance. Look at that I'm Notre Dame. I'm predicting I'm not going to win. <laughs> oh, you're wearing Notre Dame too now? I hate Notre Dame shit. I hate it. Hate, 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 hate. In fact, all sports logos look cheap and poor. And uh, really shitty. Like, I have to go so out of the way. I mean, it would be great if I loved sports logos. I'd be wearing them everywhere. I only like logos that don't really make sense. Brands that say too much. Look at all this writing. I don't even know what this is. So I hate Notre Dame. I mean, I just feel like there's such a disservice to the world's eyes to just walk around with this little style. And this cut of shirt, see, I don't know what you call this. It's like what a football coach wears when he's mad. Like only a true a-hole wears a polo, first of all. That's another one of Mike's fashion no-nos. A polo of any kind. It's like when a guy's going golfing, but he doesn't have like a preset, Ooh. beautiful, pressed golf outfit. Yeah. So he just has to quickly look through his closet for something that's allowed. On Men's the sports clothes sicken me. Like, ooh. Man, we should do a Red Bar closet raid where we pick 10 listeners to see if they've got men's sporks clothes in their closet. Symposium. Symposium. Did you guys do anything to prepare? Okay, pause, pause. here we go. <laughs> Let me show you what Burt Kreischer is now. We've all seen La Machina, right? He looks horrible since Burr. then. Oh, so he Burr. really did have the bender that he said he was going to have. If Wait, movie let me was back, because I think even backing up makes him look a little worse. Uh, he looks way worse from my angle. <laughs> but I could see he looks really bad. Let's get close up. 
You know, I've heard people mention his Joe even said, I think Joe said his face is like the moon. <laughs> that looks bad. And you could see not only is he bloated, not only is he fat, but there's something different about his eyes, right? That's not a happy eye. If I said, hey, guys, look at this eyes. Is this guy smiling or like really fucking sad and broken and worried? You'd say broken, worried, sad. What? Always look at the eyes first. Always wear sunglasses. Get that? I mean, he really looks bad. He's very round. And, and again, it's not about the fat. If his eyes were all right, if his eyes checked out, I'd say there wasn't a problem. But I, like many people right now, are into Bert's health and one thing more i'll say this about bird's health because i hear a lot of people talking about bird's health dude bird's gotta stop drinking bird's gotta he's so unhealthy uh guys you're phrasing this all the wrong way it should be dude bird looks awful this rules we want his health declining idiots so don't get mad at a guy that you hate <coughs> When his health declines, cheer it on. Send him pizza. Send him snack. Um, I see all these people like in Fighter and the Kid Reddit style places where they're like, Bert is hell. I'm so sick of Bert and his health. You're not sick of Bert's health. You don't like Bert. And the health is a legit thing you could hate because that's bad, right? No. Love it. I love Bert. I want Bert to eventually die from this. That's the game we're playing here. I, it's more exciting. Don't you want to see him have heart attack after heart attack, fall off things, break his neck? I don't know. Or do you want to see him get good and well? I mean, I, that's what I mean. I said this earlier in the show. So many people are like, I'm so glad that it's so nice seeing his growth. You know? Why? There's nothing exciting about a guy that's, oh, there's, this guy is really nice. Oh, there's this guy who's really healthy. This is TV, motherfuckers. This is TV. TV should be crazy. You got sick for that reason. I got sick for that reason. For you. There's not. We've like, we're all twisted about like, what we do is we find people that we hate online. And then we point out all the bad things they're doing because you can't just say, I hate him. I hate his face. I hate him. People go, that's so immature. Do you have to go, I just don't like him because, you know. Save it. You're bullying people out of doing the things that we want them to do. We don't want them all cleaning up their acts and being good and great. You know how boring life would be? What would we do? (laughs) We want these guys on the decline. Man. So to all the people who like uh, talking about Bert all the time. Welcome to Red Bar, where you're free to just be yourselves and cheer on his decline with me. So that's what you guys ready for. He's sick. He's hurt. And I love it. So I'm not going to say that a lot of people would cover this and they would go, oh, man, why is he doing this to himself? Are you his friend or his enemy? I hope that makes sense. And uh, Shane not looking good either. You know, Shane's disgusting. Really disgusting. I mean, take care of your body. Put yourself together. You can't just not do that. You know, I could look pretty fucking horrific on this show if I wanted to. But no, I'd spend five minutes with the makeup artist. And you clean yourself up for the people's eyes. You know, it's the same thing. You need to be as presentable as the camera quality is good, as the audio quality is good. That all matters in a civilized world. And when we're watching TV, it needs to be better than the garbage I see out my window. Not my window, but the window. <laughs> uh, it, you know, I don't want TV. I don't want anything on a screen to look worse than stuff in real life does. The people need to be beautiful. The... It needs to be cinematic. It needs to sound good. And we're letting it go to shit. That should be your one complaint. Clean yourselves up. 
Now, Burt kind of looks cool. Burt pulls off this. He's still cinematic. Yes, I Which agree. is what I asked for. Shane is uncinematically ugly, where it, it grosses me out and it makes me mad. When I see Burt's unhealthiness, I go, fuck yeah, now we're, this is a show. <laughs> this is a show. That's a character. That's TV-worthy face. This is worthy of the toilet. <laughs> and I want you to know that. And grow some fucking eyelashes. Some, do something. You can't walk around like this. It's not funny to I me. I think that if he just changed the clothes, at least yeah, it would be something. Yeah, the clothes is a big, big start. Big start. And a lot of people in our chat are agreeing that you're disgusting. <laughs> you know? Do a segment like this about me once in a while with Matt McCluskey. I'll knock that motherfucker's head off. No, I like that. I said that before. All right. Watch this shit. Guys. I mean, we uh, developed alcoholism. Yep. Seems like you woke up in bed together. Yeah. Well, you sleep together, you train together, you party together. Right. Your team. We came together. Twice. Yeah, baby. Uh, everything's a gay joke. And there he is, Jelly Roll. It cuts to Jelly Roll. It's like, how is he there? Imagine me watching this at home. Oh, my God. Bert, Shane, oh my god, I'm the laser! Jelly roll! It's like, they're just making the content for me. They're just making the content. Every guy I get into is just there for me. <laughs> they're there for me. They'll be, 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 be right there for me. Anyone know that song? Costellers. I love Erica Costell. She makes all the cock smell. <laughs> is that a good line? America Costell, I make all the cocks smell. Get it? Bad breath. <laughs> bad, or pussy, bad pussy. What am I saying? Stank as pussy. That's what happens when you're anorexic, when you're underweight, when you starve the body of its nutrients, your pussy starts stinking. Did you know that? Just stay away from skinny girls. They're unhealthy. Their pussy smell like hey. Spark one with me for Jelly Roll. You know what? I actually, I'll say this. I like Jelly Roll, I think. <laughs> I think I do. I, uh, he's so nice. Jelly Roll, would you hang out with me one on one, no cameras for a year? I think I'd get along with Jelly Roll. Like if we were doing an or Jelly Roll or Uncle Laser. He's easy to choose an or, that's for sure. He's great to choose an or. But I, he's faking yeah. being as nice Well, that's as the he thing. Is. Jelly Roll is all an act. And he gets tired of his act. It's like what Tim Dillon said about Lizzo's backup dancers. I didn't think about that, but Tim Dillon made a good point that I think people are misunderstanding because Tim Dillon's not very good at explaining his points. He said that Lizzo hired all fat backup dancers, which really isn't done. And fat backup dancers don't have the stamina to do a whole tour. So they get cranky real fast. <laughs> They're actually not like you can't be as athletic as a real backup dancer on stage every night dancing around. I mean, I can't. So these big, obese, morbidly obese stunt dancers that she's picked to make it all fat women. Uh, yeah, they're going to turn on her awfully quick because they can't do tour. They did it probably three nights in a row, and they're like, Fuck, what have we done? <laughs> so I thought that was a very good point from Tim, and that's the same thing with Jelly Roll. That's why I bring it up. Uh, Jelly Roll can only even fake nice at a party for like a half hour before he has to say, hey, where's Jelly Roll? Oh, I think he dipped. Really? Okay. <laughs> party! You know, then they all forget about him. But Jelly Roll is a self-conscious guy who could only really keep the act up for as long as his energy lasts, which isn't very uh, long when you're this big. You can see it. Okay, here he is. Real champions, the real drinkers here. What's up, buddy? How are you? <laughs> wow, I love you so much, Papito. Oh! Yeah, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Look at that. See, they all love it, Everyone loves Jelly Roll so much, right? Ooh, I want to see a guy slap hug you so bad. If someone slapped me that hard, first of all, they'd have pus all over their hands for my back. <laughs> just kidding. But if somebody slapped me again, I would just simply pull out the, one small bullet in their gut. 
Papito. Oh! Ow! Ow! What are you doing, baby? We got the boy! What's up, man? Oh! So here's Taylor Luan, the gay guy I'm talking about. Here's Shane. You'll see. Watch. Keep. This is where it starts. Taylor cannot stay away from Shane. There are 40 guys at this party. Taylor is following around Shane and tickling and playing him like uh, like he's Hezbollah. <laughs> playing with him like a like a Hezbollah. Like a dog, a cat, and a Hezbollah. Do you like dogs, cats, or Hezbollahs? <laughs> I actually, uh, yeah, I got a big cat. We're running around chasing a little Hezbollah Isn't around. That would fucking rock if every yes. person had the option to get, get a, a Hezbollah? Hezbollah? Yeah. I mean, come on. Shut like a... <laughs> It's against his religion, Jules. He's very mad. And he does stab people. He legit, and they let him do it because it's a small knife, and it's not that threatening. They let him stab people because of his height difference. I'm not kidding. So here's Jelly Roll, and here's Taylor running to him. Uh, but keep your eye on Taylor. He's following around Shane in a way I don't allow. <laughs> I was hurt when I heard Ernest. Can we get a clip of Jelly Roll picking up his head, or did somebody pick it up for him? Look at that. Biggest question of the night. Watch this. What's up, man? His hat falls off. And then it cuts, he's wearing the hat again. I need to know. Did Jelly Roll go to pick it up and then Taylor Luan swips and goes, Oh no, I'll get that for you, sweetie. Here you go. I'm so sorry. Or did Jelly Roll go, just one second, guys. <gasps> oh, wait. What's that? Oh, a very important reminder here. Put on some music, Jules. You could kill that music. Let's go back. But yes, did Jelly Roll pick up his own hat? Or did one of the men step in and get it for him? Hmm, who knows? Okay, let's continue. Jelly. Look, I looked around today. We could have won this thing, dude. This competition was kind of mediocre, to be honest, up. dude. I hadn't been impressed yet. You know what I'm saying? Will was on a different team last year. I'll be honest with you. During the free agency, you skip ahead to 542. You're probably almost there. You just have to click yeah. ahead two seconds. 542. Just this is when they all sing the national anthem, and I just like the way oh, Uncle this Laser really. looks in this Okay, part. so <laughs> all the douchebags are singing the national anthem with their, uh, you know, uh, what would you call this? Uh, 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 what do you call those little stands in the middle of the mall? Uh, kiosk. Kiosk sunglasses. Again, it's offensive to me. These no-brand kiosk sunglasses that are styled as real sunglasses. I don't like that. Uh, again, the Umbro. A lot of people wearing Under Armour and sports clothes that you could get at uh, Sport Mart or Dick's in the clothes section. Those are all bad clothes to stay away from. Shouldn't wear that stuff. That is for competing in sports as a child. But they do the national anthem, which sports guys love this national anthem. They love the beginning of the game. I get it. It's like the beginning of Red Bar. You know, the beginnings of things are great. They're epic. It's the funnest part, usually. But I hate the pledge. I hate the anthem. I refuse to stand up for the anthem. I make a big scene out of it at the games, at the concerts, anywhere I am where they want you to stand for the troops or something. I make sure everyone around me knows I am anti-military spending. Anti-military spending. Very. Watch Uncle Laser, though. So all the men are, like, confident. They're all alphas. They're all having a good time. Let's see what Uncle Laser's up to here during the national anthem. He's very insecure tonight, remember. Taylor Luan, shirt's already off. Already off, just like Logan Paul. Interesting. Shirt's always off. A lot of tattoos for a football player, a white football player, I should say. So you like having the shirt off and people kind of like touching you. You probably, or all these tattoos are by a man, right? You laid in that chair a lot. Was that your only way to get close to another man with your clothes off? And you probably did the thing where you get like fully naked to get a tattoo on your thigh or something. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I'll be fully naked. I want to get a bunch of tattoos on my lower butt. <laughs> do you think we could do that? Oh, it's hours and hours and hours of work. Yeah, well, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> He's gay. 100%. I can prove it. Okay, Uncle Le Oh. 
This is only about Uncle Laser. So looks. watch Uncle Laser sneak in here. It's going to be right over here. Ooh, look at him. Can you see? Put I'll your do hand on your heart, you animal. Do they show him again? Who's yelling? Who's yelling? Kick him out. You see that? There's going to be one guy yelling. Shut the fuck up. Sing in harmony. <laughs> or don't sing at all. I don't like jokes singing. Listen. Kick him out. Kick him out. Hey, that was money. That was money. That's perfect. Ooh. I just want to see Uncle Laser in that lineup. Yeah. With the okay. other guy. Can you wait? You went back way too far. I, I don't think so. Okay. I'll tell you when to pause. Yeah, I know. There. Right there. Look at but that. There was a better one oh, where there really? was more people in the shot, so he could be. I didn't see that. It was very brief. Okay. Show me. Just tell me when. Look at this girl cringing out. Yeesh. Isn't this play? It's tired, isn't it, miss? This behavior is tired. We're all over it as a country. Okay, let's see. Uncle Laser. Okay. Was it here? No. Keep going. Hey, that was money. Oh, so it's right. Oh, wow. This is impossible. Hold up. How did you even see that? Hey, that was pause, pause. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Money! That was Wait. money, pitch perfect. How? Wait. Yeah, pause. Oh my god, this was worth it. So here's the guy here. We're gonna do this. Watch this. Can I scroll over this way now somehow? No, it'd be cool if I could slide yeah. this over now once you did. So here's a guy, here's a guy. There's some guys, there's some guys. Everybody's looking pretty comfortable. Okay. There's <laughs> Uncle Laser. Why does he look Wait. so off? Like he draw. I saw Hold him there because he draws my eye from a mile oh, away. Yeah. It's like a black Hold hole. On. I'm really trying to get him. <laughs> Jesus. In there. Good. Look at that faggot. Everyone's talking. Yeah, he's alone too. He doesn't have like any buddies at the thing. Look at that. And how'd you see? That was a split second frame with this Uncle Laser. Yes, Look at that's him. That's what I mean. He's everywhere to me. See, like a real man's man doesn't have pasty white bald legs. <laughs> a real man's man doesn't wear these jerk offs 316. And you don't wear the He's headband. Listen, another guy, even another guy at this event could pull off this outfit. Yes, but they something have. Something about the way that he's wearing it is so, like, he feels like shit wearing that. Yes, he, he showed wishes. up thinking that everyone was, because, yeah, he's usually the no, most outlandish guy. At that the, he's like, you're Uncle Laser. You are crazy. You wear these dang boots. You go. And then he gets there, and then he's like, Uncle Laser, you idiot. Why would you yeah. have to wear this? Damn, you stupid. Fucking, he's the type of guy, check his forehead. It's probably got a big bump on it. <laughs> That's why he's wearing that bandana, because he's the type of guy who bangs his head into the wall, calling himself stupid, stupid. Um, and look at him, he's got a uh, little chode. <laughs> look at that chode. And that was money. Oh, that, that was, was quick. money. Pitch perfect four. That shit was nice. Ooh, and this guy is like the loudest, most obnoxious. So like every scene is going to be, oh, well, it's his podcast, right? Who's doing yes. this? Okay, so Taylor Luan is like... Uh, it's his podcast, Brothers of Bros, <laughs> who's putting this on. So I guess that's why he's featured the most. But he's also the loudest and most obnoxious. Look at this work that he just had done all in one sitting. That looks like Anissa's for tattoo. What? For what? And I guarantee you had your full butt out for this. Yeah, I want it to go down just a little bit there. So I'll just remove all my clothes if that's cool with you. Uh, it's usually we want you to wear underwear. Chinese. Tattooist. You never saw it coming. We want you to wear underwear, please. Oh, no, that's cool. I could just go bare. It's cool with me. Throws the towel on my Asian tattooist head. You know. <laughs> okay, I got to do it. Well, should we pause here for a second and go sure. back to his sure. uh, appearance on Bert's podcast? Like, don't close this. No, just I know. Oh, I know. I know what I'm doing here. This is the first time we heard about this guy. First link? Yeah. Okay. Jack, one of our production guys, was like... So he was on Something's Burning. Something's Burning. <laughs> yep. 
as far as pants. Now, do you guys remember the time where everyone was like, oh, is Jeffree Star dating Tom Brady? Because yes. he posted that pic with some tall football guy. Remember that? So and there was it- a big trending thing where it was Jeffree Star holding the hands of some t- tall football player, but he was turned around. And for a month, they all said, I bet that's Tom Brady. And Tom Brady is out and he's gay with Jeffree Star. I mean, <laughs> guys. <laughs> You thought that was going to happen? Remember when they were like, Jeffree Star and Kanye, I think, had sex, I think? (laughs) You guys thought that happened? You thought that that's possible? (laughs) With Kanye, anything is possible, so... No guy is fucking Jeffree Star is a secret. (laughs) Unless... So, you guys know Jeffree Star, right? Thin, tall, Kleinian. Looks like Hila Klein, basically. Silver hair, Star Cosmetics. I like Jeffree Star. He's one of the characters in this world that has uh, put out great character content in his time. And uh, believe it or not, I've watched a ton of Jeffree Star content from makeup reviews that go on for hours (laughs) to vlogs to his move to the wilderness to his series with Shane, Shana Putnam. And uh, I know everything about Jeffree Star, as I do about every guy online. I think we know Jeffree Star almost better than anyone. I understand. I, like it, nobody it, else does, and I swear. Meaning, that's true. we know a lot of people where we could save their life. <laughs> we know a lot of these characters so well that we could actually put them on the right path that they so yearn to like be on. I sat Jeffree down and told him what I see in him, he yes. would start crying. I yes. Think. <laughs> It, with happiness. That's We're the only ones watching with any intent, and we could help a lot of people out there if they would just open their arms. Okay, so skip ahead to 2710. So anyways, yeah. that's the best. Wait till you hear. We've put together quite a concept here today. This isn't just random video clips. We're weaving a very important story, hopefully a story that will save Shane's life. This is big, and if this comes out good, feel free to clip it if it comes out good. What time, Jules? 2710. So, yeah, this is the guy that did that thing, pick thing with Jeffrey, and he also interviewed him. And I guess this was on the same day. Yeah, so I hope people remember this picture we're talking about. And it turns out it was this guy in the picture promoting that him and Shane are doing an interview on Barstool, right? Or that him and uh, Jeffrey Star. Sorry. Okay. Maybe we want to show that Jeffrey Star picture very quickly. We can show the picture, yeah, I guess. Because I feel like. If you haven't seen that picture, this is not going to be as good. I think we should show that. I'm just give us a moment. It's just one quick pick. Plus, I mean, you guys get to see a picture of Jeffrey Star. I mean, that's like a bonus. That's like giving people money. You want to see a picture of Jeffrey Star? That's like saying, do you want a free 50 bucks? Sure. I love looking at people like Jeffrey Star. I could look at him all day. And it is a him, by the way. It's not a tranny. It's a weird, crazy guy. Oh, this is Trevor still. Here, just show this one. Sorry, I was looking for yeah. a better version. It's a long look. I know, I wanted to That's find... a long look. The one. So we're just waiting for the picture that I could have this found. This also my... has the reveal, but basically him and Jeffrey were doing this troll where Jeffrey wanted to troll everybody yeah. into thinking he was dating Tom Brady. Yeah, so here, this is perfect. This is the picture, and this was all over online, right? Everyone just saw this picture here. And they go, oh, that's going to be Tom Brady. Tom Brady's fucking Jeff. And people believe that. And then it was revealed a week later that it was Taylor Luan to promote this podcast. Okay, now you get it. And he did a podcast with Jeffrey Star. But it was basically just about Jeffrey's life. It yeah, wasn't... but this is, I, and I want people to see, this is what Jeffrey Star looks like. It is not a girl, by the way. He does not go by she. It's not a tranny. It is just a guy who wears makeup and crazy clothes. See, now a lot of people get that wrong. They think Jeffree Star is like a tranny. No, no, no. Literally, Jeffree Star is a guy like me, wears makeup and crazy clothes. He doesn't even wear girls' clothes. These are like alien clothes. (laughs) This isn't a woman's top. This is like a weird jumpsuit that's only shown for him. (laughs) So it's neither men's nor women's. And it's just... The makeup, I think, is throwing people off. But he goes by he. He calls himself he. He 
is perfectly straight. He just thought he didn't know. No tits. That he has no tits. <laughs> does have a fake butt, which is pretty tough to ignore. But uh, <laughs> not a girl, and that's very important for what's coming here. So, what time code twenty seven oh seven? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's yay. yay. Uh, yay's coming. <laughs> yay's gonna oh, be look. They're together again, Shane and Taylor. So. Everywhere Shane is, Taylor is right behind him. And wait till you see what we got here for you. But here's Bert cooking it up. Here's Taylor, and here's uh, Shane doing jack shit on this show like always. But listen to what Taylor says. Hey, the person I just had the podcast today when Will was getting his passport allegedly fucks Kanye. No! He's talking about Jeffrey, right? So he's spreading this rumor. He said, the person I had on my podcast today? Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay, so he's talking about Jeffrey, and this is another one of these idiots. You think that Jeffrey Star fucked Kanye. He believes that. Now, I believe he believes that. So do because I, I remember the Jeffrey interview, and he was like, did you fuck Kanye? And Jeffrey was like, hmm. He, oh. so Jeffrey was doing what Jeffrey always does, so he's like, yeah, did you fuck Kanye? He's like, guess we'll never know. The answer is no, they don't know each other. <laughs> the only reason the internet spread this rumor is because Jeffrey lives in Wyoming and Kanye had a house in Wyoming. And Jeffrey uh, alluded. Encouraged the rumor. Encouraged the rumor. But Jeffrey Star just makes stupid rumors. And then, but anybody with a mind can see he's joking. Like there's, he didn't fuck Kanye, but he believes it. And I'll tell you why he believes it. Because he believes. Jeffrey, hold on, lost my soundboard here. The reason he believes Kanye fucked Jeffrey Star is because he would fuck Jeffrey Star. Yep. Wait till you hear what he says. Is it coming up right here? Listen to this. Wait, what happens? Allegedly, as in it's said on the pod. It's talked about on the pod. Ooh, and who? I'll who have to tune in. Hey. And that person really wanted to fuck Tanner Technini, dude. Really? You do got that look on you. <laughs> Wait, and he's who? 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 Hey, who, go side. Tanner, that's my boy Tanner. Go side. Oh, I thought. I thought. Hey, go side. Bro, girls. Fuck Kanye. No, I'm half listening. Going. No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, buddy. Jordan. Hey, yeah. it wasn't a girl. It wasn't a girl. Yes. They just dressed like a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yep. Star. Oh, that tracks. Listen. He said, "Oh, that tracks." <laughs> and by the way, he is awesome. Listen, I bet. Jeffrey. He is so fucking cool. Yeah. Yes, you should have. You want to talk about that at all? Can you? Yeah, you like him. I can talk about. I mean, I we've actually talked about. We're gonna push the show probably next week. What else do you like about him? Why? What? You like him? He's hot. Yeah. Is he? Listen. I mean, he's a he. When he's all dressed up like a girl, you're like, yo, low key. Got some cheeks (laughs) on him. Dressed up like a girl. That's funny. Okay, no. (laughs) Do you understand what's happening here? Mass confusion, or this guy's gay. He's gay. So. He thought that Jeffree Star fucked Kanye West, an obvious joke. And then he just said here, when he's dressed up like a girl, Jeffree Star is pretty hot. No, 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 no. That is not true. Uh, No one has ever said that. Now, sure, we've heard people like Nikita Drag. Now, I will never say that. If a trans person is a girl, there is no hot Ever fucking ever. So you think Nikita Dragon's hot? No, but I'm saying the confusion is you've heard people go like Louis J. Gomez types of people like that. They go, oh, Nikita Dragon, like, dude, she's actually pretty hot, though. You know, you got to admit or these trannies that really look like girls. You've heard these guys. But Jeffrey is not that. Jeffrey is not a tranny that really looks like a girl. It looks like a straight up guy alien. He's never looks hot. He has no tits ever. So how could he be hot? How could he be hot? When he's dressed up like a girl, he's pretty hot, though, and fuckable. No, it has no tits. It looks like a white Martian with scars all over it. It's never been hot. It never is hot. If Jeffrey is hot to you, you're gay. Look at his face. He doesn't even know what he's saying. He thinks we're all like, yeah, that's true. Jeffrey Show is pretty hot when and it's dressed up as a girl. No, no, no. Shane during these parts also. Yes, keep an eye on Shane. Okay, here. Why? What? You like him? He's hot. Yeah. Is he? I mean, he's a he, when he's all dressed up like a girl, you're like, yo, low key. 
No. He got some cheeks on him. dressed no. up like a girl. That's fucking great. <laughs> Yo, I'm just great. saying. We were That's all joking about that in the car, dude. He is That's awesome. fucking um, great. Yeah, when is this going to come out? JV. Oh, he... Ooh. It keeps going. Oh, keeps going. Look at this. Speaking of low key, this guy's down low. That's a down low look. <laughs> this is a down low personality. The DL, the great hide. The shameful service. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was? Uh, I looked over, JP goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jack, one of our production guys, was like, you know Jeff has, gives the best head. Okay. So they're kind of, he's kind of agreeing with what somebody said. He's like, but you know Jeffrey gives the best head. Listen to this. Yeah, listen to this. Sec. Jack, one of our production guys, was like, you know Jeff has, gives the best head. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you said that. Yo, bro. We're doing a show. We're doing hey, a show. Relax. Come on, Cameron says Listen. you can clean no, your name. No, brother. Yeah. No. You know Jack's fired up. Yeah. Me. Well, he just came out of the garage. Fool ship. Fool ship after he just basically outed himself for saying, I bet Jeff gives good head. <laughs> and why would you bet that? Because I would bet it would be like putting my dick in the garbage disposal. I mean, Jeffree Star is fucking freaky. I don't think I could even look at it. Gives the best head. I couldn't even imagine such a gory sight. But watch Shane here after he hears. You said that Jeffrey probably gives incredible fellatio. Uh, all dudes probably give great Dude, that's head. what I'm saying. All dudes yeah. give good head. If a guy, we all know what we like. I can picture in my head the perfect head I could possibly get, how it dude. works, how it rolls, everything in between. He's a dude. He's got a dick. Dude. He knows exactly how to do that thing. Look at Shane. I'm sure we all probably kind of do. Oh, I would, yeah. suck. I would suck. No, 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 no. There is no we. These guys are sitting around talking about how guys would be the best at giving head because they know what a guy wants. I shouldn't have to explain. And he was talking about this before, too, and his staff yes. member. He tried to pass it off on him, and Not, that guy came charging out just to set the record Yes, that he didn't say Yeah. That. So you've got that. Now, does Shane say something here? Uh, I think you could keep playing it for another okay, minute. Okay, watch this. Talk well. What a uh, what well. number? What hey, number? Did, did, you ever, you did you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever try when you were little? Of course. Oh, yourself? A, a little? Yeah. Everybody does. No. You never tried? I swear to God, never. <laughs> hey, never uh, crossed you, my mind. I'll I mean, you, I knew it was I just. I'll tell you the one time she goes. Shane, Shane goes, says no. You're gay, I'm gonna be so mad. There's <laughs> <laughs> already people that are thinking he's gay. So Shane saw all this go down. Shane sees all this. He, he knows, this and he knows this guy's fancy. He knows he's sweet. It is not okay to be sweet <laughs> as a non-sweet. So let's go back to this here. That's and now, now you know Taylor a little better. Watch him have a crush on Shane. I'm the only one who's looking out for Shane here. Shane, I will protect you. I will. This guy needs to come clean now. He needs to come clean because I believe, here's the thing, people go, look at this guy's outing a gay, picking on a homo. No. Uh, to hide the fact that you're gay could be the most hateful thing you could do to the gay community and to that gay little kid who's terrified to come out because the more you guys hide it, I said this to Todd Glass, behind his back, uh, 50 years of not being gay and then coming out gay, uh, year 51 is coming out gay. That's not a hero that's, you hated gays. For 50 years, gays were so disgusting to you that you pretended to be straight, which would be like if I pretended to be gay for some nefarious reason, which is nuts. So think about that, and that should be basic. I know we all, oh, we had to give him time. 20 years old would have been a good time. And if he does come out as gay soon, Shane has to be his boyfriend. Boyfriend! Smooch time. Yep, Shane, this is your new boyfriend. You can't get a girlfriend. You've struggled for years. So we all know Shane Gillis is terrible. Um, terrible in, what do they call it? In the field. <laughs> Shane Gillis is terrible in the field. He strikes out constantly, right? He can't get it together to talk to women. This is perfect. Here's a guy who already loves you. He's taller than you. And just be gay with him. That's all you've got. You're never going to have a good sex life with a woman 
you might as well get fucked up the holes by this guy. Hey, it's a football player. You can marry man. a football player. And I want to see Shane in a full makeup and <laughs> blonde curls at the ball game, dressed up like one of those white trash skanks that all the football players date. <laughs> You know, those Instagram, like, overweight Instagram hoochies that they date. I want Shane dressed up as that at the game, kissing and hugging him. Shane, you're gay now. I thought you said this was going to help me. Nope. All right, so the first event's going to be a beer chug. This is going to be for seating only. This is, like, an hour long, but you can go to, like, 10.50. So let's start seeing these moments. the first time I started noticing So we started noticing. Do you see this journalism we've done here today? You don't. Oh, wait. I'm going and to 1044 because we got a bonus. Yes. Stop on any part I see Uncle Lay that. <laughs> Ooh, I'd like to lick Uncle Lazer's snatch. With a gun. Oh, Watch this. Oh, he's being fucking uh, ignored and bitched. <laughs> Look at him. Are you guys ever going to play with me or what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You guys ever going to play with me or am I going to be left alone like I always have? And he's been kicked out of the Kill Tony universe, by the way, permanently, right? It seems like they hate him. All the fans hate him. And then Tony, who basically, you know, promoted him to high heavens. Now that the fans hate him, Tony hates him. Tony's a worm. Uh, Uncle Laser, not that good of body. I thought Uncle Laser was more defined for some reason. He's got a really gross body. He's fat. Yes, I am. <laughs> See, Uncle Laser can never think of anything funny to say, but he <laughs> could think of the pacing of how it sounds. So, uh, to do a proper Uncle Laser impression, the joke has to be really bad. So you're like, Uncle Laser never looks like he fits in. Yes, that's true. That's about as good as you could do. Is All right, there look, any look horror at movies where there's a guy with Bert's exact body and one of the big gore scenes of the movie is yeah, seven. cutting open the belly with a knife? I mean, oh, Bert, yeah, I this so. has to be... Because every time I see a that beer belly so like that, I imagine cutting it and stabbing it. Deep. I really hate beer bellies, too. Like, when I see a guy with these huge guys, it's like, what are you doing to get that? <laughs> I eat horrendously, like 10 times a day. I, I can't imagine what these people must be doing to get this fat. I just don't know what they're doing. You know, what could it be? Is it the drinking? Does drinking, is that the main cause of being fat like this? I guess that's why they call it a beer belly. Or are they eating all day? All day and night eating? I don't get what it. if the testosterone that he's on is just pumping up his belly only? Well, he's, his new thing, did you hear what Bert said? Bert's like, dude. Uh, his new thing is that he's not big and fat. It's extra muscle. And I heard him uh, on Two Bears with Tom Segura. He was going, dude, no, honestly, like I jumped in the pool at Bear Olympics. I sank like a stone. So obviously I'm not getting fat. This is just muscle, like a ton of it's not muscle. Where are you getting the muscle from? And then he's like, I benched 325 10 times. You didn't. I mean, look at it. Man. There's no it's. Well, I mean, he's pretty ripped, but it's like Alex Jones type of muscle where the muscle has basically been created because you have this huge gut. So your body has to pull that around with you. So it's building traps and big arms and big shoulders to carry this big gut. And that's what's developed on you. But really nothing more. If you lost all this weight, your body would be very misshapen. Um, But yeah, his new thing is that this is just all muscle underneath a little layer of fat makes sense so but again i want him fatter unlike many of his critics no i want him fatter bigger i want him to explode eventually he's so big (laughs) look at uncle laser and i'll tell you this flip cup not entertaining on tv it's just not very really and please guys you don't need to play drinking games to have friends just have a drink with a guy if you really want to be his friend you don't have to hide behind the cup and guess what winning is not as fun as you're imagining it to be (laughs) i know people get very it's almost like when people play pool billiards 
and they make that shot. They could be like the shittiest player, but they make a shot and then they walk away from the table like really quickly and smoothly as if that was planned. <laughs> it wasn't planned. Anybody could do that. <laughs> when you're doing beer pong and you're winning, it's not, oh, we're the best. And I've seen people, they really turn. We're actually the best. You're not the best. You're actually just concentrating on it more than all of us because you have some hole in you. Uh, and uh, it's disgusting. Put the game away. Ping pong balls shouldn't be all over the house. Uh, there shouldn't be beer in the house. There shouldn't be people over. Shut this party down. Uh, okay, so they're playing flip cup. This is not fun unless you're trying to get laid, you see. Beer pong is only fun if there's girls. Guys playing beer pong alone in their 50s is not fun or funny, and you can't slide in on some bitch because she's getting all drunk. <laughs> the whole point of drinking is, is girls, idiot. Or shows. Red bar. But uh, you don't drink unless you're trying to get laid. It really is, uh, I don't know what you're doing. You're trying to, like, trying to get laid by guys. Let's have a drink together. Right? Do you like drinking? You can't drink. I'm she trying to get laid. The machine. Well, I'm always trying to get laid around here. <laughs> um, now we got some big, big issues, sex-wise. <laughs> uh, coming up. All right, let's cheers, everybody. Uh, to a wonderful, wonderful return of Bread Bar. Everybody's safe and happy. Everybody's getting along. And, you know, we're showing uh, the world what needs to be said. Here we go. Cheers, everybody, to, to Hanukkah. Cheers. Cheers with Glenny Balls. Glenny Balls. The host of a show where he sits beside an OnlyFans model. Dave Porney. Oh, I love so Glenny. Dave Porney hired these people. I just can't believe it. And this is after a year of Penn seeing this, they're like, we have to sell back this company for a dollar. <laughs> I don't even want any exchange of money with these people anymore. Okay, so it's a bunch. And by the way, if you're wearing like a RAF shirt to a party, I can't have it. All right, so it's coming up right now, I think. Flip cup on TV doesn't work. There's Bert. <laughs> you saw it. Okay, so here's Shane. Here's Taylor. He do not let Shane have five uh, inches of breathing room at this whole party. So this is the first incident. So keep your eye on him. Keep your eye on Shane. Here's Shane. Look at this guy. You saw Watch it. You're not oh. good at this. Bro. I never. <laughs> not in my house. Look. Oh. Leave Shane alone. He's nagging Shane. So his big thing is to like pick on Shane. Chase him all over the backyard. <laughs> By the way, I don't think you should be hanging out with people in the backyard unless it's your fucking family. Sorry. Sorry. That's another thing about me. I don't go in other people's yard. It's not true. Okay, but seriously, you're following him around the backyard, which is a fool's move. By the way, there's this chick here. Not one guy by her. <laughs> the only guy that's by her is more interested in his fucking camera. Filming guys. You have this chick here dying to suck a cock. She's so horny from the sports she saw, the beer pong sport. You know, and you could easily go take this woman and throw her into this bush and push her head down and do whatever you want. Nobody would know. This guy could take her, crack her head open, and rape her. But yeah, you'd rather just talk. So that's proof. Okay, here is, and Taylor Luan's got a little hair tie around here. What's that for? So he could give head. <laughs> Put that around his hair so he could give head. Look how he, and this is a small one, but this is the first one. So watch him again. Watch him. He's picking on Shane. <laughs> You're not good at this. Bro. I never. <laughs> not in my house. Look, grabbing him. Grabbing this him. Grabbing him. Whoop his fucking ass. Yeah, Shane's still trying to make his first go. No, I've made a bunch. Life, right? You want to see the first one? Here's the first one. Stop. <laughs> Look how boring this is. <laughs> but my least favorite part of this is that I gotta bend over. Everyone's gonna laugh. We're back, dude. No one can stop us. I got no doubt That's my red mind, but Michael Chandler's ass. Also, for real, don't post it. Okay. Okay, now go to 2124. This is just a mini one with Uncle Laser. 2124. <laughs> we're going to take an Uncle Laser detour. 2124 mini one with Uncle Laser. Ooh. 
if he's already... Oh, I could see him right there. Look at this little schmendrick. <laughs> see, it doesn't fit in. I don't go to places where all the guys are taller. That's why I'm looking at Taylor Swift concerts. <laughs> I'm one of the tallest men there. And that's fine. Listen, you just don't go around them, and then you're the tallest guy. <laughs> Uncle Laser went to a football party as a 5'6 guy. Now, don't let that think that I'm anywhere near 5'6 or any of these types. <laughs> Please. Please. Um, there's none of that here. In fact, I could not do this show and would not do this show if I was under 5'11". <laughs> Just know that. I would not and could not do it. You have no, there's no reason you need to hear from someone shorter than 5'11", 5'10". And that's the absolute cutoff. That's the cut. It is the cutoff in this world. Just randomly selected. Unless it's Kanye who looks fine in picture you know when you see kanye in pictures he actually has a great body for perfect close. proportions perfect proportions <laughs> so kanye is only five eight but rogan claims he's five eight when you look at kanye you don't go fucking midget fucking i hate him when you look at joe you want to fucking kill him because he's so midgetitist <laughs> but kanye looks great i mean he's a basically a fashion model is what Kanye is. I so mean, maybe it's all about the body you ever seen kanye walking across the street in new york in 2016 wearing supreme he looks perfect. <laughs> Joe Rogan walks across the street. It's like the world is going, what is going on? It's just like the munchkin land. So here is uh, Uncle Laser again. He should not be at this party. Oh, he's being looked at by the guy from The Walking Dead with the arrows. Yeah, so this a, is a shot from The Walking Dead where he's... This is a nice shot for them. This is a beautiful shot. I was going to say they have the same exact microphone as me, but then I realized <laughs> that's from in here. I was going to, wow, they have the same mic as me just floating at the party. <laughs> But that's me looking into the monitor and then this in front of the TV. Okay, let's see what happens. However, bad look. Let's go. Uncle Laser. Oh, Uncle Laser <laughs> is pumping the keg as if, guys, step away. If I know one thing at these parties, it's that I know how to work the keg. Yep, nobody drinks more than Uncle Hazer. And Taylor is always standing there right beside the keg, hips thrust out whenever I mean, it's being pumped. <laughs> this is Taylor. Here's Taylor. Look at Taylor. I mean, this could be a meme. Look at this. I mean, look at this. You've got this guy here and then Uncle Laser like this. Cut this out as a square <laughs> and put that all over Twitter as I mean. Uh, like but look one. at this. He's wearing no underwear. And he's shaved Everybody knows that a guy wearing their pants this low, this should all be hair. See this mouse? You should have at least that much hair sticking out. Otherwise, what are you doing? Waxing? You're bicking the stash? That I hope people know when we say clean it up down there, they don't mean shave the top. <laughs> it's never meant shave the top. You shave the balonies. You shave some other stuff. You don't shave really any. You don't need to do nothing down there. Close it up. But this guy is shaving. We're waxing. I bet he go. No. You know what he does? He gets it waxed. Because you know why? Because he's. it's an appointment where he gets to be naked in front of a professional guy. And he gets off on that, I believe. I believe he goes, oh, yeah, I got to get waxed for the game. Are there any male And then he's waxers? like, ah, oh, let's wax. I would say, and this goes the same thing. You know how you can get a spray tan and they'll... Girls, like, get naked for a spray tan, and they have the spray tannist do the whole night. I can't believe it. I can't believe a girl walks into a strange building, <laughs> and for twelve ninety nine and some points, goes into the back room with a stranger no who way. works at the tanning salon, and the tanning salon person sees you nude. Now, But it's just another girl, and they don't yes, really but look at you. Imagine now, if you're a guy... He does appointments that you can, like, he'll go to doctors to get naked. He goes places where he can get naked in front of men, and it's legal. <laughs> That's what he does. So he's not wearing any underwear. He's bicked everything here. He's ready for the night. He's did the shave down. He's ready. And Uncle Laser's here pumping the fucking keg, which, by the way, I, I'm just so upset about this whole scene. Pumping a fucking keg. <laughs> All right, let's see. So he's trying to show off pumping the keg. Now, there are bigger men. Taylor can do one pump for every eight pumps. <laughs> Laser does. So I don't know why Laser, the shortest guy there, is pumping. He's little like, slay. <laughs> hold on, I got to reach the top of the keg. Yeah, he's like the, uh, like an elf. <laughs> like a worker, elf, a gnome. 
that's Cover. helping. Gotcha. Bad look. Let's go. Huge okay. traps, though. I suspect he's like me. He's doing a bunch of these because he thinks this gives him height. <laughs> Why? You can't have a gut and then this one. Well, I guess the traps are holding up the gut, but this is an overworked trapezius aronimus. <clears throat> And you could tell that's overworked traps, almost to the point where you're giving yourself a hunchback, especially without this tan to show any definition. That other guy in the background is a male prostitute this that guy. Taylor hired to dress like Shane. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Shane Gillis. Sure. I'm. Sh and people go, hey, who are you? Oh, I'm Shane Gillis. And when he showed up, Taylor was like, you're supposed to be fat to his assistant. What the fuck? <laughs> And she was like, this is the only one we could get. Just he says he shirt. wants to still stay at the party, even if he's not getting paid. Yeah, this guy's probably sweet, too. Anybody that's around Taylor is sweet. Okay, so here they are popping. Look at this guy. You like those boys, huh? <laughs> Look how long your eyelashes are. I mean, you. this is a gay stance. This is a whole party of queer. I mean, it is. It is a queer fest. Wait I mean, till you see. Okay, this is a quick one, and then wait till okay, you see the this. next Uncle one, David. which is the fight. Come here, come here. Come here. I'm ready. Watch the tea. So now Taylor is being held. He's doing what's called a keg stand. And then in the backyard, some terrible scab and someone in the background was doing a keg stand. Blink. <laughs> uh, and look who's there feeding him. These are sensual, sincere... It's looks like that lesbian meme on Twitter where it's yes. like the one girl holding the other girl's hair and feeding her milk. She was doing like the yes. same expression. I mean, this... I, I don't do Brokeback jokes, Brokeback Mountains. I don't do that. This looks like the cover of Brokeback Mountain. Sincere gay guys in the woods. This is sincere. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Enjoy your beer, brother. You have earned it. <laughs> and you're nervously sensual right now. Look at that. The you ever in the back is in on it, too. Well, I don't know. I give him the benefit of the doubt. That's a straight to me. Well, does have a chest. Every answer. guy at this party is gay. Yes, okay. Can prove that yeah, oh, wait, he is because he's wearing a bandana around his neck. Proven, the only proven not gay is Bert. This look with the bandana around your shirtless body... Guys think this is like making them look cute. I'm sorry, you can't be that cute. I see Big Mike wearing this outfit at like Coachella. Yes. It's really not as cute as you think you're <laughs> feeling right now. It's not that cute. It's actually disgusting. God. But here is Uncle Laser, and he's so nervous to have his fur. Or, I mean, this is what a closeted gay's eyes look like. They're so nervous about the sensuality that's happening. You know, he's it basically his this is like when a fucking terrorist goes to heaven. You're at a party with 78 virgins. They've all got their shirts off already. And they're all the type of guys you want. I mean, you guys are in heaven and you're basically this is guys gone wild. The only problem is. Only you are getting off. Not the, not the viewer. But I bet a bunch of homos probably. I bet Barstool's audience is mostly homos who jack off to this stuff. Okay, watch. <laughs> Feeding it to you, you don't put a tube in a man's mouth unless you're getting Tony ready for the expose at the sex club. You don't put a tube in another man's mouth. <laughs> hey, hold on a second. I'm sorry, Taylor. Here's the tube. That's so sick. What, he's got Rogan tattoo? <laughs> he's got an old Rogan tattoo. I bet he su submitted this to JRE's Instagram. It's an for... ephemeral tattoo. Oh, God, the JRE tattoos. We should gather all those people, tell them they've won something big, gather them in an, in an event arena, <laughs> and then kill them. <laughs> um, because that is too far. I'll let you get a tattoo of me, but a tattoo of Rogan that has done so well that you visited the top artist in the world. First of all, you shouldn't have a tattoo that's good. When your tattoo is too good, it's not a tattoo anymore. It's just really sensual, sensual, realistic photo of a guy, <laughs> uh, which isn't the point. Tattoos are supposed to be like, oh, yeah, I can see that that's a guy like his. OK, let's see. <laughs> Three, eight, nine, oh. six, seven, eight, 
Is I don't that know. it? This is your brother? So he can't really drink, too, which is a big sign. He's not really the man he claims to be, although I heard he's uh, always getting in fights on the field, Taylor. Now, what will Taylor say about me if he sees this clip? What will Taylor do? Will he pass me the pigskin? I'll pop it. My dream is to take him and throw him into the goalpost, and he falls on top of it like the Mortal Kombat spike Maybe and he'll slides be really down. Really happy because because I'm t- finally freeing him. Yes, and you're telling Shane what he doesn't have the words to say. Exactly. So, <laughs> Shane, I'm getting him off. I'm exposing the fact that you're being terrorized by this home, and also for Taylor, what I'm doing for you is freeing you from the chains of embarrassment. Now you could go. Everything he said was true. Thank you, Mike. I could finally be. And then you. No more football, obviously. No more war. And you guys are dating. And you guys are dating. And I want Shane in that drag. Quick. You spit it out. He spit out the beer. You see that? It's like, then don't do a keg stand. If you're going to spit out the fourth one. Three, eight, nine. Nine seconds. And he spit it out. Look. I got a whole Olympics to do, brother. You think I'm going to let the competition give me the... Oh. I saw a side of Uncle Laser that I'm zooming in on. <laughs> Look at little Gremlatic. Rumple Stiltskin. Laser Skiltskin. Wait, Rumple Stiltskin. Laser Stiltskin. Yeah. Laser Stiltskin is your new name. <laughs> Look at this creep shot I got of him. Oh, Watch hey, this. I got a whole Olympics to do, brother. You think I'm going to let the. Wait. Pop- are you a little Jewish kid named Adam? You look like the kid from the new Jennifer Lawrence movie, Hard Will Do. What is it called? <laughs> no Hard Feelings. You guys got to see No Hard Feelings. You have to see Jennifer Lawrence's No Hard Feelings. Please, I beg of you. Get very... There's one scene. There is two scenes. What's the other one? Well, Don't I mean, say it. I'm not, it's way better if it's a surprise. Please was, see. Here's our homework assignment. Everybody, it's on. Oh, yeah. It's only available available to buy right now. So that's why this is even more important. You can Everybody. wait a few weeks. No. <laughs> homework assignment for next episode. Everybody has to buy 19.99 from iTunes. What is it called? No Hard Feelings. No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. It's the new rom-com that you won't believe and know the scene I'm talking about was not AI. That's all I'll say. You got to see it. 1999. It's not available for rent until September 22. <laughs> okay, look at this little fucking loser. I hope this is coming across. When I saw this frame, I go. Someone was just like, "How about just Uncle Stiltskin?" Uncles. <laughs> oh my god. I knew. <laughs> you know, I got so confused with the Stiltskin. Uh. Uncle Stiltskin. No, I like, no, of course, Uncle Stiltskin. That's amazing. (laughs) Why not just Uncle Stiltskin? Laser (laughs) Stiltsman. That's so much more perfect. (laughs) I knew it was there. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, I want everyone calling him Uncle Stiltskin (laughs) from now on. And make sure to spell Stiltskin correctly. I couldn't tell you how to spell it. I'm not a fucking... Uh, whiz, school whiz, but uh, if you could figure out how to spell that, please call him that every time, every time you see him. Oh, hey, Uncle Stiltskin saw you on Red Bar. Did you give me- ooh, 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 he's doing, look at, oh, not hey, a lot of people will do this. To do, brother. You think I'm the- and again, if you're new here, you don't know who this is, nobody knows who the fuck, that, I barely know who this is. <laughs> you're not missing anything, this is it. Ask Tony. Oh, wow, it skips. Way too far ahead. Wow, there's mini frames within frames. Look. Oh, wait, because you got to use. Here you go. Wait till you see this. Is this going to do it? Yeah. Get this. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Look at this face. Like Tim Heidecker, like in his wildest dreams, couldn't pull off this face. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> do you guys see what I mean? Oh, the unsureties swirling through his mind. Oh, if somebody, if I, oh, ah, 
okay, I can't take anymore. And look at his little bajungies. And the fake Shane Gillis who showed up to impersonate Shane Gillis. I didn't know he was fat. You said he wears a blue polo, a hat, and sunglasses. Damn it, I did. I didn't tell him he was fat. Because Taylor didn't have the heart to say he's fat. He, does, you he know? just doesn't he think loves of him as him. No, he looked at him as so attractive, so this guy came dressed up as him. Okay, uh, I still... Oh, that's a meme face. I need this as a shirt. Can somebody draw this perfectly without the blown out highlights? Can Brandon somebody draw Miller. this? No blown out highlights. I want perfect uh, lighting for my drawing of this. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what I was doing. So he's getting uh, sunned is what this is called. He's been not only getting sun on his back, but he's getting sunned all over his body and in, in uh, psychologically he's getting sun here today from every guy at the party is treating him like a cum rag <laughs> hey uncle laser why don't you hold my uh yeah my cum rag just had <laughs> sex hold on to this for me ah it's just some fucking thing here look at you knew what i was doing homie you knew what i was doing yeah no question all right Ciao. Okay, now 4520. This is the best time code. Okay. Sorry, we've been talking about this for a long ass time, but I really love it. 4520. 4520. 99 bottles of piss on the wall. 4520. Oh my God, it's way out there. Hold on. Sorry, it's getting white. Everything's, you know, let me go to a darker frame. All right, beer up stays. If you're damn it. It's a whiter you can bars. On God damn it. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, that's dark enough. 45 what? 4520. 4520. Well, they do the damn letters in white, and then when the whole screen's white, which, by the way, no video should have white on the outside. You didn't know that? Dark, 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 bright. <laughs> it's really stupid. Barstool, all these podcasts, they're so white. You ever tried watching them at night in your room? Let's hope you ha can figure out how to get your uh, LED backlight down. You know, we have to take our LED backlight, which sits at 80. And at night, we have to turn that all the way down to zero, and Joe Rogan's show is still lighting up the whole bedroom and breaking our eyes. I'll get kind of into, like, my almost-asleep relaxed state, and it's pointed at, like, Post Malone or God knows who, and you're like, yeah, I can relax to this. Okay, I'm about to fall asleep. And then it cuts to Joe and blasts. Yes, it blasts. So, yeah, when you're watching the, the guest, it's in front of a dark background. It's fine. Cuts to Joe, big neon sign. Blowing everybody up. I think uh, the darker the better for a podcast that somebody has to watch for hours on end like that. You can't have it so bright. People shouldn't be doing white. Some people will do their graphics on a big white background and then the graphics are there in blue. <laughs> and those graphics are giant too. They don't know how to properly put graphics. Oh God, it's a mess. All right, 45 what? 20. Am I uh, blowing out the microphone here today? Oh, no, go because to 4440, sorry. 4440. Four, four, four. People still say that to me. I'm not into it. Look, there you got some hot chicks here, but they're being ignored because the guys want to play with the guys. That's even a Trump chick. She probably loves free speech and beer. You think that's a Trump chick? Anybody who wears a red hat is yeah, Trump to me. That's true. So here's Bird in the pool. They're going <laughs> to do a pool party with all the guys where they all touch and splash. Whoa, you hungry, bro? <sighs> Very. Very. I only had seven crunchy tacos, no cheese, no lettuce today. So um, they're doing a pool party where they play around with the guys and hold them underwater for long. You went to 4440? Let's see. We are at 4439. Perfect. Okay, watch this. So here Wait, is she. Are you sure? You're at the right time. I'll do it again. Here, 44, 30, right? Oh, it's doing something weird. I got to go back to, this is 4403. I'm just going to play for okay, you because yeah. I can't get over it. That's a zero. Okay, but you guys will go. Yeah, I'm telling you, they Really? How's Will keeping score and tracking the bracket? That seems a little, um, yeah. yeah. It's five foot three, 600 pounds. There they is. That's the guy. What? This is 
<laughs> this know, is January 6th. I'm not going to lie. This is January 6th. I felt like I had a scratchy throat today, so I didn't want to smoke yeah. any more weed, so I ate a tiny five Oh, no, edible. don't say that. you got to get back in shape <laughs> here. Got, I'm not out of shape. I'm oh, just I thought you were going to say. making all of these guys look 10 million times crazier. I mean, they look bad in the direct $200 Amazon light that's directly at their face uh, isn't helping. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we get to our big, I big part Will, here. Um, Will is the guy that tries to keep their team. They so can't I take it. They can't take it. Back up. Okay, here we go. I got him. Okay, watch Taylor. Oh, so look at Taylor manhandling Shane. So Shane's dressed. Taylor, this has been like Taylor's biggest part of the fantasy. His pre-fantasy of this day has been, dude, we're going to be in the pool together. We're going to be drunk. I mean, we're allowed to roughhouse. <laughs> this is going to be, I mean, this would be like getting to play with a hot chick in the pool with your clothes off. And it was just playful. <laughs> so he gets the fantasy of a lifetime. Look at what he does to show <laughs> He's grabbing Shane. Oh my God, wait. They were like tearing at his uh, shorts too. And now Taylor is behind Shane, pressed up against him. I mean, we... I mean, that was God. too long to have a guy grabbing your belly. Well, if look I at this. I mean, if someone was grabbing my belly for that many seconds, I would be like, what is going on here? I wouldn't let a man touch me like this for more than a milla second. So he's grabbing him from behind and he really pushes his body against Shane. Here. <laughs> oh, into the Wawa. Oh, and he can't keep his hands off Shane, who looks like Adolf Hitler. And if you're this guy and you're single, you're going to be playing with Shane Gillis in the pool the whole time? You're going to be touching him and grabbing him? And Shane doesn't play back. I mean, he does in a, I'm trying to be one of the guys. I'm just trying He's to fit in. talk about this after. Yeah, so here, let's see this again. Poor Shane. Although, Shane, I would have said, I'm not going in. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this is outrageous. And is this a beard that's shaped like a horn? <laughs> uh, and look at him. He's having the time of his life. A he's football player with Shane Gillis. I don't know about you, but I'd be with one of the chicks. Not Shane. <laughs> what did we used to... We go back to the Shane pick. What did we used to always... Neuters. <laughs> Neuters, yeah. You look like the fucking devil. I like to imagine that is a pointy goatee, like yes. a pointy beard coming up. Yes, like a Tibetan guy. And look how gross he looks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I did not. And look at him. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Look at Shane. <laughs> He's going to do this to the water. <laughs> oh, look who wants to play, but nobody splat. His hair isn't even wet. Look who wants to play, but nobody's splashing him. He wanted to get. You that. guys could dunk me all you want if you want. You guys could put me underwater if you want. Get the fuck out of here. Your hair's not even wet, meaning none of the guys would play with you or splash you or hold you underwater. And this whole thing, by the way, is an hour long episode of almost no talking and just scenes of guys like splashing, it's just and shoving, splashing, like, like, oh, playing, skipping over all the parts where they're no jokes and talking. Nope. No it's talking. just guys grabbing each other, tickling each other and having the best fucking day of their life. <laughs> Let's see more. Look at Uncle Laser. Hey, Kaylin! Oh, he's a show off. Look at this. Oh, my God. Laser, laser, laser. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I can't see my pointer here. 
Look at laser fixing it. Man, how do I get in on this? Hmm, there's got to be a way in. You're... You need to go home. You're... No one wants you at the party. <laughs> Nobody's going to splat. Your hair is still dry. So no, you didn't see me. I got dunked once. He <laughs> goes under himself and pretends somebody's <laughs> holding him down. I hope that belt bunk buckle drowns you. Look at that. Isn't that something? Look at him right there. Here. Keep an eye on him. Ooh, he's just watching from afar, huh? I mean, I, I would never show my face again if I were you. Ever. This is too embarrassing. You've been outed. Um, damn, you're having the fucking time of your life, dude. If only you could fuck them after, huh? If only, but this is enough for now. You're going to jack off to these thoughts. Oh my God. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, oh, wait till you see Sean. Where are you? Ooh. Oh, Shane. Shane, how could you? How could you? He's lost, left, up, lost, lost. How could you? Even Bert knows. He could go for a little sideburn. He could have Yeah, I know. What is with Shane and being sh so embarrassed of sideburns? It's making you look gross. All these guys who cut their sideburns, you look gross. It's like contouring. Just add a little extra. Well, you're just don't shave off areas of your hair that's growing in. Clean it up, but you don't remove your DNA. That's your genetic makeup. You don't shave it off. It'd be like if I shaved off me lips. So Shane is sitting here polluting the pool, turning it into a miso scented broth. Isn't he disgusting? No other guy is as pale as him. You know, no guy's tan enough for me. That's for sure. Look at this gay guy back here. Wait a minute. This is another straight up gay guy. You really can't wear jeans without a shirt, right? I don't think, I don't think so. they thought that through. And you can't tuck in your tea to your. And look at this. It's all shaved. Really erotic. Erotica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Suck our dicks, dude. Mark, Mark was going to be over there, though. Suck and fuck. Any strategy. Okay, where, is there any more to this one? Um, that's it. And okay. we could also watch Shane quickly talk about yeah, it let's after just see, the fact. Because we got a clip now of Shane talking about it the next day. And he's going to allude to something crude. Okay, you guys ready to cruise with me over to Matt and Shane's secret podcast? What do you guys think? Fuck yeah. Matt and Shane, and that's Matt McCusker. He's got a new special on YouTube. Please try to watch it. We made it four minutes in. Really, that's how boring. And I love the guy. He reminds me of a guy who would, like, live outside of Detroit. He'd work at his father's uh, independent uh, uh, independent hardware store. You yes. know, this nice guy. And his dad wants him to inherit the store, and he loves his dad, but he also wants to strike yeah. out on his own. He's got a $168 barbecue. He tells people to come over, though, for a barbecue, but he's only got a $168 <laughs> grill, and it's not really that good. Bubba Burgers, you know. He's a simple guy. The world doesn't really need him, but he's hilarious. One million views. Mountain Chain Secret Podcast. <laughs> You want to go to three? Oh, you can see the. Yeah. They have a long intro oh, song. Okay. Three minutes? 3.37 is. They're three. already talking about it for a while, but okay. this. Is oh, Tom Segura <laughs> National Park. Tiny Tom. Tom Segura National Park. So here's <laughs> Tiny Tom, and here's this Matt McCusker. You know what? Their show is so pixelated, or so blurry, I should say, that we, I never really knew what he looked like Me until neither. I saw his special. I think I'll show you that after. He looks much different than I actually thought. Like, my mind was filling in the blanks due to this, like, softness and this lack of quality here. <laughs> and he's actually a lot more, like, when you see him in the special, you go, oh, that's like a 50-year-old dad 
that like lost his kids and he's kind of you a can mess, see but... more his face a lot better yeah and what kind of guy he is in this special you're shane and this is matt and shane's secret podcast with tom segura uh, tom looking like Steiny who is it? sitting on yeah tom table. you do look like Steiny, the elk boy Steiny. and tom does this thing where he tries to be like relatable with the other comics that are newer i see right through it tom you feel like a fraud with all the riches and cars and then you try to like pretend you're one of the guys when you need to go promote your thing. It's really disgusting. And you don't even like these types of guys. You just hang around with other comics because well, that's what the Joe Rogan fantasy is, you know. Make it, you don't want to be friends with these people. Okay, here, listen to this. Yeah, who's in it? Who's in it? Um, so the winners was George Kittle and DeForest Buckner. Oh, Jesus Christ. DeForest Buckner is... A freak, dude. You yeah. see that guy? You're like, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. And these the guys debate, are already tired? No. What? No. They're like pro bowlers. And they're getting laid? Yes. And they're getting hammered, too. Yeah. I'm yeah talking about the yeah. barrel yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. so it's like not only that, that level of athleticism, but they're also fueled. They're fired up. Yeah. They're fired and, the fuck up. And then, so like, I, you, you guys loved know it. me. If somebody says something mean to me, I try to say the meanest thing possible. Yeah. Obviously. yeah. And uh, if you do that to those guys, it's a they will resort to violence. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mean, mean resort to kissing and hugging? So you saying like all the guys were like picking on each other, and then when Shane would do one back, it would be a little too He's hard trying to find a way to make sense of what happened yeah. to him that night. And you were getting kissed, hugged, and touched all night. So you're you think that was just the guys roughhousing you, Shane? Wake up. <laughs> You're being, what do they call that? You're being uh, devoured by gay men. You have something that the gays want, especially these big, tall football players. You're a tiny little uh, squishy sex toy to them. You know, you ever thought about yourself that way? I never thought about you that way. You've got cake. You're a, uh, yeah, you're like something they fuck from the sex store. They take you with one hand and they just fucking use it to jack themselves off with. That's what you've become. Okay, listen to this. Shane. They go to violence yeah. and then you're just you're How dumb. are they tempered it? Was it like just like headlocks and like... Taylor gave me 10 different headlocks. Taylor gave me 10 different headlocks. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> three, four, five... Six, how many little kisses can I do? <laughs> Ten different headlocks. And look at Tom. <laughs> you going to give your mom $1,000 for the slot machines? That's so cool. You're so rich. Look you at made this. me tap 10 times. And I was like, dude, I'm going to tap every time. Stop yeah. doing it. And sometimes he wouldn't listen to the tap. I'd be like, dude, for real this time. <laughs> he wouldn't oh, listen. He You're wouldn't listen. No means no. Not in football. See, football players can't go out raping women anymore. You'll be off the team. <laughs> but you can rape Shane Gillis. No one's going to believe it. You could fuck Jeffree Star in the ass. But you've heard about these football players. Randy Taylor, Taylor Jacks. The second you saw the football player Colton as the new bachelor, yep. like, he's gay. And he it came out years I later. I called out this guy, Colton, from The Bachelor. I said he's gay, and I was really adamant about it. Years later, he came out as gay. Nobody was accusing him of being gay when I was. Nope. I got a real heart for this. <laughs> and, yeah, I find it to be deceptive. I find a lie is a lie. And I like catching a liar. And, again, please don't mistake this for being gay is wrong and to hide from me about it. Um... You know a guy's gay when they've been playing Xbox all day. Oh, my God. Notre Dame coasters. What is just the college? I don't know. He likes the college course. <laughs> he likes their curriculum. What is going on at this Notre Dame that you got to have it all over your house? And what Xbox is this? 360? Which know, Xbox I'm a PS5 is this? guy. This looks like, oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. We have PS5, the Sony. <laughs> I call it the Sony. It's all. Hey, uh, you got the Sony? <laughs> uh, what is this? Icebreakers? Yes. Or chew? Is it chew or icebreakers? It's chew. Okay. 
And what is this? I hate when guys are walking around with these cream coffees. Cafe Desta. Ugh, and they walk around all day with these because they're such wimps. They take two sips. They go strong. I think Mike was forced to drink an energy drink the oh, other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll... Okay, hold on. We got to get through some of this, or we're gonna die, and we're gonna. We've been talking about this. We literally have have eight hundred show notes. I don't know how to do it other than long form. I know. Okay, here, here, dude. Which is not even. I mean, I was, I was a baby boy. No, but I mean, it just goes to like about like (laughs) how what other level these fucking freaks are. I suplexed him. Yeah, they I hope they got that on them? camera. I was, I got him a couple times in there. <laughs> there you go. I was holding him underwater at one point. <laughs> you know me in the water, dude. I, True. I said, come down to the deep end, you are dude. A creature, a little water. hippo in there, dude. You're a creature. <laughs> so Kittle, <laughs> Kittle and Buckner at one. And who else is? It? Okay. So did I show the world something they've never seen before? I hope so. I hope I you get the point. I hope you know how important that was. You've made your case. We'll take a break. <laughs> Got to go to bed. Mm, bad. Our breaks are very quick around here. We'll be right back with much more rebar. <laughs> <laughs> 